Greetings folks. In this video we'll be looking at the Rover 3 Tilt Rotor FPV Explorer uh, Tricopter from FR Sky. It's a really interesting product. It's not a toy, much more sophisticated than a toy. It comes with FPV camera and video transmitter on board. You can use your own batteries and you can bind it to any FR Sky transmitter. This is what comes in the box. We get spare props, uh, two three-bladed prop and one uh, two-bladed prop. They're four-inch props, I think. <clears throat> Instruction manuals for the Rover 3 and for the uh, FR Sky Scout VS600. That's the video transmitter, 600 milliwatt configurable, uh, multi-channel, multi-power level uh, video transmitter and the uh, XSR F30 flight controller with integrated receiver. Here's the beastie. Battery cover on the top. It comes uh, with a XT30 connector, but I don't have any XT30 batteries, uh, so I've changed it to XT60. It uh, runs on 3S or 4S. 1300 is probably the biggest 1300 3S is the biggest battery you can fit in. And since I've changed to the XT60, it's, it's quite a tight fit. It, it will fit in, but um, if you have a battery with a, an XT, XT30 connector or smaller 3S or 4S batteries, they'll fit in a bit easier, but flies fine on that. So instead of the normal tricopter setup where you have a tilting tail rotor, you have tilting side rotors. Uh, and it runs on a beta flight setup, so you can actually configure it in beta flight as well, but it comes already set up uh, with the right mixes and PIDs and all that sort of stuff. Has landing gear, which is nice. You can do touch and goes and uh, take off from the ground. Little video transmitter under there. One version comes with a, an X Light S uh, transmitter, but if you're using your own transmitter, you'll need to bind it. And uh, the receiver is in the bottom. You just undo these screws, pull the bottom off, and, and push the bind button like you would normally bind any FR Sky receiver to your transmitter. FPV camera there with a little cover that you can rotate up and down. That's just sort of safety cover there. And you can see the antennas sort of coming out the back here around the rotor. Now to configure your radio, uh, if you go to the FR Sky website and the downloads for the uh, Rover 3, you'll, you'll see three files you can download or three downloads available. The first one is the manual for the Rover. That'll be just that thing there. Second one, I think it says beta flight download or something like that, but that includes uh, three files, I think. But, but one of them is a text file that tells you how you set up your uh, channels and things like that. And so the setup is actually T-A-E-R. So that's throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and uh, an arm switch a three position mode switch and you can set up a slider as well for another function that we'll uh, show you a bit later on. It has an angle mode, a horizon mode and an acro mode as well. So all the usual multi-copter modes. And the third file is uh, a Lua script that you can download. And uh, if your radio is set up to, to handle Lua scripts, you put that file in the scripts folder on your SD card and uh, you can configure the band, channel, and power of the video transmitter from your transmitter, which is pretty cool. Now, I just watched Andy RC's review of the pre-production model of this uh, from a few months ago, and things have changed a fair bit since uh, that version. We've now got three-bladed props. Uh, he also pointed out that you can bind it by uh, finding the bind button and pushing it with a little screwdriver or something like that. Uh, through the slot there if you know where the button is but uh, it's easy enough to un undo the screws and you can see exactly where the button is. We also have a circularly polarised antenna rather than the, the linear and all the modes come unlocked by default. We can squeeze the battery in, that's not too bad.
there we go that's on so uh, I have the arming button up here <clears throat> that's arm now See the uh, elevator stick tilts the rotors backwards and forwards. Ailerons are actually uh, operating the motors. Rudder is tilting the rotors backwards and forwards. And throttle. That's in angle mode, so that's uh, self leveling. This is now in horizon mode, so that is stabilised, but we also can tilt the rotors and I think that is kind of like tilting the uh, camera but it's actually tilting the uh, attitude of the, the, the uh, tricopter but we'll find out when we fly it anyway. See that's speeding up and slowing down the tail rotor so I think that will hold it level even though the, the uh, rotors are tilting. Anyway, we'll find out when we fly it. And we have acro mode as well, which is that one there. Now let's have a look at the Lua script for uh, adjusting the video transmitter. So it's a long press of the uh, menu button, page through to the SD card, find the scripts, there we go. And this is it, the G-Trans X7 Lua. Long press to execute. And then we've got channel. It picks up the channel and band that I have there. Uh, you can change the channel. Actually, as it comes, it's uh, all the frequencies are locked, so it's set on one frequency. But you have to change that to yes to unlock it. Then you can change the channel, the band, power, 600, 200, 25 and pit mode. Uh, so let's put it on 200 for my test flight. And you can see that it transfers it via a smart port, I think it is. Now unfortunately I'm finding with my sort of puffy 3S 1300 with the big XT60 in connector on it, it's, it's just fitting in there and it actually putting a bit of pressure on the top so that top keeps popping off so I might I may have to tape it while I'm flying. I do have a the 2S but uh, don't think it'll have enough power on 2S so it looks like we'll have to stick with this 3S 1300. A smaller 3S would be perfect so I like a I don't know a thousand or something like that. Just quickly it does come with a, a camera strap in there but I actually had to take it out to fit the big 1300 3S battery in there. I've just discovered that I actually have a well, 1000 3S so that's going to fit in a lot better. Anyway, let's take it out for a fly. Too much wind for this but uh, I'll try a bit of line of sight anyway. I have a little 1000 milliamp 3S in there which fits much nicer. We'll see how we go. Start off in angle mode. There we go. <laughs> Pushing into the wind. Well, that flies easy enough in angle mode. Really struggling with the wind. I'm pushing a long way forward. Bit of drift behind me a bit so we can have a close up of the rotors. Do need your throttle management. There we go. You can see see the rotors working to keep it stable. Ah, very cool. Hover's easy enough. Hair off downwind. Full forward now. <laughs> it's not bad. It's more than a toy, that's for sure. This is on 3S, so you probably could use 4S. Try uh, 
This is uh, more of a acro mode now, I think. No, it still is self-leveling though. Too much wind to try everything out but that's with the slider operating the rotors look it handles the wind but it, it's it's not comfortable <laughs> it's a bit more battle to um see that tilts the airframe without necessarily making it go forwards and backwards Should try some FPV, but it's going to be difficult. And this is that's uh, acro mode now. Yeah, it feels like a quad, and I'm not much of a quad flyer. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if the wind wasn't there, I'd have much more control, but yeah, it's going well. And now we're in angle mode again. Makes it much more stable, self-leveling. Well, I'll try some FPV, eh? Oh, cool. That's fun. Okay, so here's the FPV view. You can see it shows us the different uh, flight modes, battery, current, RSSI, fly time, and a better takeoff in Okay. We're on FPV. This feels pretty good. Now back behind myself, there we go. So I've got a reference. Battling the wind, but I'm doing it okay. And I'm not a quad flyer. Uh, you can see the current there, four or five amps. Pushing forward into the wind, get a bit of height. Got my battery voltage there. Cruise around. This is cool. Watch out for that water down there. And I'm guessing we've got plenty of range with 200 milliwatts and uh, you know, full range FPV, uh, full range uh, FR Sky transmitter. We're not going to have too many problems. Very cool. So I need to try it on a calmer day because uh, I have very little experience with quads, but I'm flying it without too many problems even with a fair amount of wind. I haven't got out of angle mode uh, for FPV uh, and I'm sure you'd have a lot more control in um, acro mode or even horizon mode to try out the, the tilt attitude. Uh, but yeah, what a great little tricopter, tilt rotor tricopter. More than a toy, definitely. Has some serious electronics inside with the flight control board, the configurable video transmitter configurable by, configurable by your transmitter so there you go the fr sky rover 3 tilt rotor tricopter it's a great little uh, tricopter definitely more than a toy it flies more like a mini quad than a um, a docile little toy for sure and i'm sure i've got a lot more learning to do with it but um, it's a ripper